over the last three or four days, I've been getting messages from several students saying that they've gone to the area. I've only got a 295 or a 301 or in general a low score. For them, this video is going to give them some good news. And then there are certain others who are still thinking about whether they should give the GRE and planning their strategy. If you continue this thinking for one more month and not act, then you can forget about applying for fall 25 completely because you will be late. Now on this video, I've got some very, very good news because I know of some top universities across MEM, CS, MIS, BA and certain other programs where you can apply without a GRE score. So stay tuned. All right, I'm going to be a little lazy now and not buy hard things because at the end of the day, it's about giving you useful information. Please forgive me as I'm going to look at my laptop screen and read out university names straight away. My editor can do some magic and then add the stats so that it's an engaging video in any case. Computer science, let me read out some names for you guys. The University of California at Berkeley, not going to require the GRE by the way, even submitting a score, no use. University of Michigan Ann Arbor, UCLA, Purdue. University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, UC San Diego, UC Davis, the University of Wisconsin at Madison, Johns Hopkins, Northeastern. Now, you will have to agree that these are some heavyweight names, some really good universities where you can apply even without a GRE score. So, if you are hesitating on starting with the application materials before you make the decision on the GRE, big mistake. Now, we are moving on to the engineering management programs. Johns Hopkins, Dartmouth, Cornell, Duke, USC, even Northeastern. All of these programs, and I'm very, very sure a lot are going to join them in making this decision. You can apply without a GRE score to pretty much all the top MEM programs that exist. Now, moving on very quickly to the Masters in Information Systems, UC Berkeley, the University of Texas at Austin, NYU, which is Kurant, by the way, um, University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign, Northeastern, University of Texas at Dallas and Arizona State. Again, these are some very popular programs which would feature on a lot of lists if you have a decent profile. And again, a lot of the other universities are going to follow through where you don't need a GRE to apply. Now, the last bit is a very surprising set of universities because we're talking about masters in business analytics. These are very quantitative heavy degrees and even if they are not requiring a GRE score as a hard requirement, it is truly surprising. Now, some of the names are the University of Texas at Austin, Northwestern University, UC San Diego, University of Minnesota Twin Cities, North Carolina State and Rutgers. Pretty much all of them are top 10 analytics programs where you can apply without a GRE score once again. Now, this list is of course dynamic as we move into the season, September, October, more and more universities are going to make their requirements clear. In fact, we've seen a few universities which required GRE initially during the season last year, make it optional come the middle of the season. So this list is dynamic and it's going to keep changing. Now, how are you going to keep track of this? It's very simple. Join our WhatsApp groups for free. We have individual groups for MIS, CS, MEM, General Fall 2025, General Spring 2025 and a bunch of others. So join our WhatsApp communities and you will be getting active updates every single day, both from the graduate team and your fellow applicants who have brilliant profiles. So now everything is very hunky-dory, right? I painted such a beautiful picture. You want to drop that 5LB book into the dustbin at this point in time. Well, not as simple as that because the wordings for each of these universities are tricky and you have to go through each and every university while making that decision. Now, let me give you an example of this. The University of Texas at Austin for the business analytics program states, and I'm on their website right now, beginning the 23-24 admission cycle, we are pleased to announce that GMAT and GRE test scores are optional, right? That's what they say. In addition, the instruction is as follows. Applicants will not be disadvantaged in the admissions process if they do not submit test scores. This is very, very clear. Whether you submit a score or don't submit a score, it's not going to make a difference in terms of the likelihood of you getting in. So here you can be absolutely fine without having a score in hand. But it varies from for certain other universities. Let me give you another example. I'm talking about Northwestern University's requirements. Again, here's the instruction. It says candidates do not require the GRE or GMAT to be eligible for admission. Very nice, but what follows? They are entirely optional. Very good. However, we will accept and evaluate GRE or GMAT scores if provided. This means you will be considered without a GRE score, but having a GRE or a GMAT is an advantage. Now, every university has unique statements like this. And while you're making your shortlist, it's important to evaluate these things objectively and then make a decision. That's why we keep saying, do your shortlist before you give the exams. Don't treat the GRE and the GMAT as entrance exams for which you need to qualify. That word has changed. It was never the case, even less so now. I hope this video gave you some clarity in terms of where you stand in terms of the GRE. 
please start your application processes soon because there'll be enough options even without a GRE score that you can apply to without a disadvantage for sure. If you still decide that you want to prepare for the GRE, then we have a WhatsApp GRE community where students are exchanging materials, exchanging notes, talking about preparation tips and also forming study groups. So you want to join that for sure.